morning. We're now at Methyl. So we're a bit further down the Fife coast. We got up early this morning and went to King's Barns to collect our final Scotty. The only other Scotty to collect now is um, uh, out at sea. <laughs> uh, it, it hasn't been released. Um, so we're going to work our way that southwards down the Fife coast and then at some point we're just going to have to to head back I think. Um, um, I'll give it a day or two but if that final Scotty isn't released then I think we're going to have to say you know <laughs> 44 out of 45 isn't bad. Um, yeah we we had at breakfast at King's Barns but there were some problems going on there. Um, there was reports of a dog attack so I had breakfast first but Hamish really did need the toilet and this woman started to get confrontational um, and there was all sorts of chaos going on you know uh, dogs loose and, and dogs barking and him whining for his walk uh, but, uh, so we're out here now a less popular spot but no people very quiet having a nice little walk. <laughs> Off we go. Oh my god, look at this, look at this, look at this. I don't know whether we can see it any closer. That's lovely exposed, I think it's red sandstone there. I'll check and look, there are dinosaurs. There's a T-Rex and there are some pterosaurs as well, which of course are not dinosaurs, they're prehistoric animals. And there's some volcano scene. There's some uh, prehistoric man. This is, a, this is lovely. I love this. I'm going to get closer and get a few pictures. Yeah. Wow. I was not expecting that. Oh, he is magnificent. <laughs> and uh, it looks like some sort of community garden here. Some apple trees have been planted. This is always good. It looks like there's a, a lot of community projects going on in this area. Fantastic. Well done everyone. If, if you're watching this and you're in the in the area it's, as a as a visitor has just happened on the place I'm very impressed. So you get a closer look at these pterosaurs now. Yeah. Oh look I can see a little triceratops hiding there. We're going to take a, a closer look at these. There is a little footpath that's been made, so we're not trampling. There we are. Let's go and have a closer look at this mural. I really love this. Anyone who knows me knows I love dinosaurs anyway. <laughs> oh, look. It's just... Uh... Yeah. So, yeah, prehistoric area with fruit trees growing. There we are, get a proper look at this mural now. And I think you can see, I'll just zoom in. I don't want to trample. Oh, yeah. Is there a triceratops and a volcano right at the end? There we are, you can probably see that now. Fantastic.
I found another gem. Uh, this is Weems. And as I drove through, there were so many uh, railway carriages and uh, an aer aeroplane and uh, tractors, farm equipment, filled with flowers. Lovely, really unusual. Um, good scenery as well. I think there's going to be some nice walks along here. So, uh, yes, Weems. With, with the way it's spelt, it looks like we miss. So, <laughs> just remember if you're driving through, do not give it a wee miss. Come into Weems and have a little look round. It's quite amazing. I'll show you. And here we have it. Our first thing. That's a, made for some old iron wheels. And it's a happy bench. Just big enough for two and you sit there if you want someone to talk to and it's sort of it's one of those places where you uh yeah sit here if you don't mind someone stopping by and saying hi so it's a it's a friendly bench two sides to it as well but uh yeah it's uh, constructed from some old probably tractor wheels or something i'm sure someone will correct me on that uh what we got wallace and sons graham What's that? Graham Square, Glasgow. J. Wallace and Sons. That's okay. So, you know, if you. Are they from a railway? I don't know. Someone will know and will comment or speculate. But, uh, yes. On to our next interesting thing. There's some old chimney pots there. Very pretty. Okay, so boats full of flowers and nothing new. But this one has minions in it. <laughs> and someone's made a minion out of an oil drum. Look at this. <laughs> and this is cool as well. And I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> yes, it's double nightmares. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know, is it meant to be a dinosaur? It's, uh, yeah, it's a funny thing. It's not like a duck. <laughs> I'm not sure. And there's nothing to explain what it is. I think we'll, we'll leave that to our imagination. <laughs> yeah. And at the other side of the footpath, we've got this sandstone formation here. Very interesting. And look, it looks like it's a cave. Oh. Go on, Amy. Oh yeah, looks like it goes all the way through. Yeah. In fact, it looks like it's open at the other end. Let's walk through. Walk on round. Quartz cave. This is a natural cave where there is always a risk of geological movement. Ah, yeah, enter at your own risk. Yeah. Yeah, it's open. Yeah. 
We are in the cave. Yeah, we're in the cave, Hamish. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't seem too bothered. He doesn't like bridges and piers and decking, but he doesn't mind the cave. It's quite cool in here. Oh, it's actually turning out to be quite a warm day. There we are, that's where we were earlier. See, I said this was an interesting place. It's more so than I thought. There. It looks like there's more than one entrance and exit. <laughs> I watch where I step. The, the Weems Caves. There. Another entrance up here. So it seems there are, are caves and uh, items of interest all the way along here. And I pulled in because I thought the uh, the adornments to the, the village were interesting. But uh, you never know what you're going to find when you head out along the coast. Miles away from home. <laughs>
currently parked up at Burnt Island. It's not very nice weather. And the heavens opened and we've had a clap of thunder. So uh, I'm chewing myself up by cooking some apples that were, <laughs> they were free on a, a back on a stall that I passed earlier. <laughs> so I'm cooking those up because I've got a tin of custard to go with them. So yeah, cooked apple and custard for my tea. That'd be nice and I've got the kettle ready to go on as soon as these are cooked. Nice cuppa. Sorted. Thank you. 